Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to install Cura. Uh, it's a G code slicer in order to slice your STL files. And later on in another video, we'll teach you how to manipulate and use some of the tools that they offer. But for now, we're going to teach you how to get started. So, first of all, make sure that your computer is compatible with Cura. Uh, it'll be in under Cura or on our website, fau3dprinteroffice.wix.com, F-A-U-E-G-N. And it'll be under the tab Cura. And you'll see uh, there'll be a list of the criteria that it uh, is required for the computer. Uh, most computers, I'm sure, can handle it, but just be safe. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link, which will be provided under Cura as well, which is altamaker.com and it's their software. It's free to use and it's compatible with Windows. If you have a Mac, um, you might have to dig a little deeper for software for the Mac. Um, I know for sure they have the Windows, but I'm not too sure about the Mac. If anything, you can use VMware. So you click download. And you let it download. Okay, as you can see, Kira just finished downloading, so we click on to the exe file. It's going to ask to open it. Next, install. Make sure open STL files with Kira is installed and Arduino drivers install. And let that download. Now that it's finished downloading, you're going to go through the wizard. Finish. And complete it. and let Cura power off. Okay, so this is Cura, and you've now successfully installed it. In the next video, I'll show you how to operate it and manipulate some of their parameters to your advantage and to give you time estimations as well um, for your particular situation uh, as you submit it to the 3D printer office.